In Lake Lucifer, there was a scene where Tabitha had to deal with freezing cold, bloody water. Lake Lucifer, we're going to talk about Lake Lucifer <laughs> behind the scenes. <laughs> She's already laughing. I'm already laughing. Okay. Lake <laughs> Lucifer. The building was so cold. It was freezing cold. We were, it was in the winter time and we had to have little space heaters in there, but you had to turn them off when you're filming because you don't want the sound of the heater. And I was, I had my hair in a sarong and I believe I was naked. And, oh yes, then we had this makeshift I'm like makeshift, <laughs> makeshift tub that I had to like cleanse myself in, like get all this blood off of me. And oh my God, and it came out of a metal pipe. The water came out of a metal pipe and I'm in this tub. And I know you tried to get the water as warm as you could, but it really wasn't because the <laughs> thing was so cold. You could see your breath. That's how cold it was in there. And I'm naked and I'm like, and I'm hoping that the lights, you know, from the room are going to like maybe hit my skin and, you know, heat me up a little bit. They didn't. So let me explain the technical aspect of how we built the rig. It was an empty room upstairs in our old place. And we basically took an old military tub and I took a water pump and I ran a, a tube from the water pump up to this old rusty pipe that we had found out in the middle of the desert. Mm -hmm. And um, the water that we put into the tub to pump through the pipe and out at first was just water and we tried to heat it up. It was dead of winter. It was yeah. probably 10, 15 degrees outside. Upstairs it was probably 40 degrees max. Oh. We tried to heat it up in the bathtub and then mm -hmm. take, we lugged this water upstairs in jugs and poured into this <laughs> thing to try to keep it warm enough for her, but it didn't work because it just didn't stay warm. The water got cold almost immediately. Mm -hmm. And then later we pumped um, a mixture of water and fake blood, movie blood into the tube so that it, yes. it's got blood pouring out of this pipe onto her naked body as she's kind of like being this entity, this creature. I'm not going to give too much away here. You're going to have to go to yes. go, go watch Lake mm -hmm. Lucifer yes. to see it. And that's on, by the way, that's on our Vimeo On Demand page. You can see the uncensored version, and that'll be in the link uh, in the description below. And then, of course, there's a free version that's the kind of like the PG or G-rated version, which is the YouTube version. When you're doing these kinds of scenes as well, I mean, it's not like I'm just sitting there and I'm just rinsing off. No, you had to stretch your body and make it look good. And so here I am freezing my ass off and I'm posing and I'm getting stuck and I'm like, I'm cramping and I'm like, oh, <laughs> my breath is just, you could see it. And I'm like, ah, oh, crap. But uh, no, it, it was cool. I mean, something. But, but it looks awesome. Headbeams were on, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. 
It yes. Looks, it, it looks amazing, though. Oh, no, it looks amazing. Another scene we did in Lake Lucifer that was really cool, one of my favorites, was in the Slot Canyon. So this is in southeastern oh, yeah. Utah, mm -hmm. and um, Tabitha painted herself in kind of like a tribal paint, mm -hmm. and she's wearing nothing but a loincloth. And she, you were crazy tan at the time. Yeah, it was really tan. Super tan. Mm -hmm. And she had to like race through this canyon and kind of crawl along the side walls to find this thing. And I'm not going to give away much more than that. Right. This thing that was up inside, hiding inside these canyons to, to try to kill it, to try to take it out. That day was weird too because it was a windy day and a chilly day, which I didn't think it was going to be that cold. But again, you're in a canyon, so you know you have shade. And uh, yeah, that was kind of interesting. I remember the wind would come and then the dust, there's dirt, would blow in. Mm -hmm. So here we are fighting against that. And then I had this moment of, I don't know what happened. I got all this energy. I do, I, I'm weird like that. I just all of a sudden I got this burst of energy and then I started like climbing up, chimneying up the sides of this canyon wall and I'm like walking across really fast. And Gary's like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, I well, don't know. Well, I told her to splay yeah. out between the rock walls. The rock walls were maybe mm -hmm. two and a half, and sections were two and a half, three feet across. And mm -hmm. she, we'd been doing a lot of rock climbing at the time, so she knew how to splay, and she knew, knew how to, to do chimneying techniques and mm -hmm. things like this. And said, well, splay across this thing and go up as high as you feel comfortable yes. with. And then, you know, we hid this, like, hand sickle, this, like, hay cutter, this old rusty uh, antique in this crack. And I said, you know, race up to the spot on the wall and then grab this thing out of the mm -hmm. wall and then jump down and then head out after the creature to take it out. And that's what I did. And there was a lot of fake blood in that too. Uh, but you, I, made, you made a mess in that canyon. Oh my God. It was water soluble. It's all gone by now. It's but. fine. But when you're, imagine this, you're in the desert, right? In this canyon. It's chilly because the breeze that came through was, was cold, you know, again, because you're inside the shade. And there's a bunch of dirt blowing at you. You have this, you're covered in this fake blood and it's sticky. It is so disgustingly sticky. Yes, it does wash off, but it's, you just, you really, you need to take a shower to get it off. And oh my gosh, here I am sticky with dirt stuck to the fake blood. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I had this crazy stuff painted all over my face. And we were hungry. I remember that. That's right. And then we decided to go to that one place the little shake place. Uh, afterwards, so I'm trying to wash. I, I created this makeup look with a lot of powder and um, some white paint that went under my eyes and really cute stuff. Well, they'll see it in the video. They'll oh, see okay. what you're yeah. talking about. So, uh, but I remember I had to get that off my face before I was going to go into the restaurant. So here I am, a bunch of fake blood on me. Uh, I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And then we went out to eat after that. But uh, that was an awesome, I have to say, that was awesome looking. Doing it, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out because, you know, when you're doing these things sometimes and you think, you know, and you're splaying across the rocks, let's say, you're like, did I do okay with that? Like, I don't know. You know, I, I question myself a lot and I got to get better about that. I know. Uh, but I was a little bit nerved out thinking, ah, crap, I hope I did a good job. But Gary loved it, so I guess it was. Oh, it was it great. It was fantastic. And there was another day of shooting where we were on a dry lake. It was in the middle of the summer. My idea to go out on a dry lake in the desert in the middle of the summer, it was probably, um, I don't know, 117 degrees or something like that. And you had the cowboy hat on, remember? And so I was doing all of these tracking shots, a whole sequence of these things. And she was literally dripping with sweat and again and that again that scene she was basically well you were topless in that scene and she's just dripping 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 and it was just like it looked absolutely wicked okay so is that the old original opening yes okay and i did have a shirt on on part of that because we did two versions but yes and it was very very hot it was breezy that became breezy that day too by the way, again, I'll repeat this if you've seen the, or if you haven't seen rather, the, um, the uh, safe for work version, I don't even know what to call it, the PG version of Lake Lucifer, that's on YouTube. And then the not safe for work, the uncensored, the really cool version as far as I'm concerned because it's very, very raw, that version. Yeah. Check the link in the description uh, below for the Vimeo On Demand channel. You can go see that, and that one's un in its uncensored version, and that's really, really cool. You should go check that out for sure. Because I've got these. That's right. 
And then there was the day, um, we were all over the map on this. Yeah. We shot in a lot of locations for Lake Lucifer and some mm -hmm. twisted locations you'll never see anywhere else because yep. these are places where people just never ever go. We had a didgeridoo and we had to climb oh, up yeah. this rocky cragland, this sort of wicked, mm -hmm red rock primeval landscape and we put Tabitha up on top. She's wearing nothing but jeans and that yes. one, just jeans. And she had a didgeridoo and she's way up on top of this thing, you know, playing this didgeridoo on this wicked branch contraption that we made. And the necklace. I had that, the mm -hmm. little necklace. Mm -hmm. I had that. Yes. That was a little tough too. It wasn't so bad. Oh, I remember when we went, we saw the scorpion. There was a scorpion under the rocks there, that day. Good memory. I Tabitha has that. an incredible memory, literally off the scale incredible memory. And we, as we were shooting, we were in this little notch and there was this big rock right there and we'd been shooting for hours. And at one point I said, oh, I need to move this out of my way. I moved the rock out of the way and there was a scorpion. It was pretty big. Amber yeah. scorpion yeah. about an inch and a half long underneath that rock that had been hanging out with us the whole time and we didn't even know it. 